Okay, this is Shadwen from Frozen Bite, the people that brought us the Treen trilogy. This is an entirely different type of game. It's a uh, a stealth game. Now there was a uh, free demo a few months ago, and I tried that and didn't do very well. And then it's come out today, well yesterday now actually, but it's released the full game on Steam. And I've just done the first tutorial level. And uh, got on pretty well with it. It's set to uh, high graphics on Linux. The only issue is the mouse seems to be a bit lazy in the menus, but uh, there is some plot. I am giving some of it away, so ignore those bits. So the way it works is, if you stand still, time stands still. So now time moves, time stops. Oh, I can jump with space. So this is the first level was with a different character. Uh, a young girl. So I think with this character there is what have we got here? Some different different mechanics. Open the inventory. So the train games obviously, uh, apart from the first one, uh, have all been released first day on Linux. So this has as well. And it's still, I think full price it's, it's 11 quid. And there's a uh, first day sale. So uh, just under a tenner. Uh, I can jump in space. There we go. Jumping with the time stopping is a bit weird. We've not yet done any. Oh, so I think that was what we're needing. I'm needing some rope. This is what I'm needing. So we've not done any stealth bits yet. You should know that the first section was all stealth bits. Well, I don't need another one then. Let's take it anyway. See, so yeah, I'm on high graphical settings. I. Uh, don't have the full anti-aliasing on, which can be a bit of a performance killer. Uh, I have only got uh, an NVIDIA 760, although I did recently upgrade to a uh, i5 CPU and 50 gig of RAM, so I'm a bit better off than in our previous videos on the performance front. things over there. Flowers. Oh, like tombstones. Quite cool. It does seem to be so far fairly linear. I don't know if, um, if we get more options later. But it is uh, essentially physics based in the, the guards can I take that line what can I do with that nothing 
the guards react to noises and stuff. And so to stealth past people, you can uh, move stuff and then run around behind them and things like that. I'm just coming out for a look. Nothing out here. Let's go back. So I didn't find a rope yet. I have to get up there for it. Jump the space. That's a big hint, isn't it? Question is, jump onto what? Can I get? Oh yes. I can grab ledges automatically. Excellent. Hey, hey. So can I now craft a grappling hook? Interesting. Oh, how do I get down? Like that. Okay. Let's see if I'm attach something over here. It's got an eye there on it. That's probably the one I'm supposed to do. Oopsie. I missed that jump. Now R is one of the major mechanics. When you fail you rewind time. So I don't know quite what I did wrong there. said many times before. I don't promise to be good at these games. Hey, but we've made it. So there's not been any stealth sections yet. Okay. This grappling lot stuff is fun. Oh, rewind. Is it too far away? Stop time. Stop time and it makes it easier. See, I'm getting hang of it. 
Oh, if I throw it while I'm jumping in the air, where am I going? All right. Oh. So there you go. I remember, it's not an action game. It's a strategy game. So yeah, I'm quite enjoying it so far. The uh, stealthy bit was uh, the stealthy bit was. Oh gosh! The stealthy bit was all right. I uh, only had to rewind once. And uh, this grappling hook stuff actually seems like quite quite good fun. Come on, baby. I'm in another guy. There we go. something. Here is the uh, result of the opening scene. Let me show you all this girl. So, uh, there's an achievement for not killing any guards. And there's achievements. With sticky fingers like yours, I wouldn't be surprised to find more stuff. Achievements for not killing guns. anybody. So let's see if we can. I've done nothing. Come here. I want to see what else you've stolen. Help! Help! Was that? Come on there. Is it your friend? This thief, more beggars stealing food from honest guards. Don't worry, I scared the guard off. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Mom. Do you live up in the castle? I managed no. to kill him. I don't live anywhere, Mom. My mother died this spring. And we discovered a homeless girl. girl. Run and hide. Go and away. She's following us around. Shoot! No, thank you. I'd rather come with you, please. You really need to run off now. Where are we going? And None of your business, brat. Just be glad I saved you and that you live another day. Please let me come with you. I'm cold and I've nowhere to go. I promise I'll be good. But I'm. Not. Just leave. She's you can't stop me girl. from following you. <sighs> That's not a spoiler. I bring you along. You, you do exactly what I tell you to do. Yes, ma'am. So there we go. 
And I've completed, I think, that chapter. I guess we now get to control both characters. Uh, but I'll leave the video there for now. I think we've uh, covered the principles of the game. You can see that guard is alerted from the outline. And you can see I avoided seeing him. Him seeing me, rather. By uh, using the environment and stuff. And I distracted him by using the environment stuff. Which all seems quite quite fun and funky. And I'm um, looking forward to playing it some more. So there you go. Shadwen released on Linux uh, today. Well, yesterday now. Check it out. Uh, excellent team of developers. I expect this is going to be well worth it.